morning, neighbor. How are you and your roomie fitting into our building? I wouldn't know. Sorry? I wouldn't know. Leo didn't come home last night. I cannot believe this is happening. Trouble? The guy that I subletted the apartment from, he just sold it. Really? And the new owner is kicking us out. Damn. Come on, you've never done that before? You gotta be kidding me. Dying to New York and back in 38 degree weather with the top down. It's a first for me. And I didn't think I had too many of those left. Thank you. You're welcome. Although, the fact that we drove by your apartment rather than going inside sort of eludes me. I know, you had a whole plan worked out, Leo. Still mine. Oh, uh, did, did you live on Park Avenue? I love those places. I just, you know, I just wanted to go inside and see... What? My art collection? <laughs> I doubt I, I it. I could appreciate <laughs> fine art, okay? And beauty. Right. Hello? Are you serving? Yes. I think all I can handle is a mimosa. Make it two. Uh... Uh, Kyle, by the chat, uh, did, was there a watch left here last night? Oh, uh, yeah, there was. Couture, 18 carat with diamonds? Yeah, we actually had a pull in the back to see if it was real. It's real. A pool? A small town, Pauline. <laughs> small town. But an interesting one, I'm finding. You live here. True, true. With your mother? Uh, no, not with my mother. Vanessa Cortland is the talk of New York. Oh, whatever. Well, you don't want to talk about her? Will you like me more if I do? I'm not sure I could like you more. Oh, flatter. <laughs> but I would die to hear about all the Proteus goings on. I mean, really, who wouldn't? You know, I've used a lot of lines to get next to pretty girls before, but using my mother's alter ego is definitely a first. Is that a yes? Sure, sure, whatever you want to know. I'd like to know everything. Oh, Prague, Madrid, Lisbon, Geneva, Milan, to Oslo, Central Pay. You and your mother lived in uh, all of those can places? Please leave her out of it for a while. I'm sorry, she just intrigues me. Oh, I want to intrigue you. You do. Because of my notorious mother, right? Because you survived your notorious mother. Tell me more about how you took control of your life, despite the burdens she placed on you. I'd rather talk about you. <laughs> I'm way too boring. Or if you prefer not to talk, we can always go back to your place for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, interrupt. I need you. Can I borrow your date for about five minutes? Oh, Leo. Uh, do I know you? You know you do. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't recall ever. Yeah, uh-huh, right. <gasps> oh, that's oh, my purse! Come on, what Sorry. are you doing? <laughs> you want me to tell him, or should you? Okay, excuse me. Pauline, thank you so much for ruining my day. Do you, do you have any idea how loaded that girl is? She was my meal ticket, and she would have been yours if you weren't such a... Uh, Leo, wake up. She's a reporter. Pauline? Frost. I know her. She was obviously gathering her information, researching you on a micro cassette in her purse. Oh. You gotta be kidding I didn't know. Well, here's something else you didn't know. What? We just got evicted. I don't know why it happened. All I know is that I got a legal piece of paper in the mail saying that someone bought the loft that I was subletting, and they don't want a subtenant like the old landlord. Just moved in. I, don't I know. That. That suck. I think yeah. I saved my purse. Oh yeah. Did you save your tape recorder? You don't even remember me, do you? You arrogant, self-absorbed. Simone, 
Hi. Leo, I can explain. No, you can't. You're a reporter. She used to be your intern, and she just ruined your little interview. So just let it go and move on. My editor will pay. Oh. As much as you would have? <laughs> Oh, you know, I, I think I'm losing my touch. I didn't even, I had no clue. But now that I look at her, it's, it's all over. So, uh, since I saved your little behind, are you going to help me figure out what to do about this apartment well, thing? Well, I don't know what to do. If, if the place was sold and the, and the new owner doesn't want to rent, you got to move out, right? Well, I know, but I like that building. I love it. This is so unfair. Well, hold, hold on. What? I'll tell you later. Uh, leave your cell phone on and I'm going to call you, okay? What do you want? I'm in no mood for seeing. Your mood, I thought, seemed pretty upbeat. You were smiling when you thought I was someone else coming to the door. wonder why. I'm having a good morning. That okay with you? That's fine. As long as it isn't at the expense of someone else, but it is, isn't it? <laughs> is there a point here anytime soon? No, not really, Grinny. I, 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 I want to know. Why the happy dance face? You wouldn't care if I told you. Were you screwing someone over? <laughs> I know that always made you giddy. No, actually. I got written up in one of the trades. Happy now? So that's it. All right, cut to the chase, Leo. What are you getting Look, at I know already? what you did. When? Oh, just spill. Okay, Grinny, stop this. I know what you did. Leo, so you, just you know me. what? For crying out loud. You know what? I was having a really good morning. And then you show up here, which is really not what I want Did anymore, you borrow okay? the law that Simone was going to sublet? They're kicking her out. Or more to the point, you are, right? Look, it was a business move. Nothing more, nothing I'm, less. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm really not. I just want to ask you a favor. Kind of a favor. Forgive me. Please. You want me to forgive you? Why? So we can stop this. Stop trying to get back at me by hurting other people. Look, I'm not some vengeful creep. No, you're not, Granny. I am. Look, I lied to you. I told you I was moving in with Simone, but I'm not. I never was. She found me asleep on a park bench and offered to let me crash at her place for a few days if I helped her move her stuff in. That's all. There's nothing going on between us. There's never going to be. I guess I just... I... I did it to hurt you, and that's just wrong. We have to stop doing that. And I don't want Simone to miss out on a great apartment because you and I can't be honest with each other. I'm not living with her. So if that's the reason you did what you did, then please, just, just think about letting her stay. Well, not for me, but for you. For... Just... 